Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Cast 529. I'm Brian. Mike. Mark. And I've got the dream team back together for this special tonight. Number five. <laughs> so, um, tonight Mike was late joining the party, so Mark and I made up our own rules. Oh, Lord. That Mike will not be able to change. He's just going to have to go with the flow. I didn't know this. You can vote for the bonus if we yeah, have, if we have <laughs> If there happens to be a bonus tonight, you will be able to vote for that. I'm going to, just out of spite. <laughs> what if you don't like it? I don't care. <laughs> Um, Mark, last week, uh, Mike and I kind of talked a little bit our, about our bourbon journeys and how yeah. we got started and yeah. that kind of thing. How did you get into this? Well, it's a great story. I uh, had the opportunity. I was in Chicago uh, with uh, one of our suppliers, and I had the chance to uh, try an old-fashioned for the first time. Okay. And uh, took a liking to it and uh, walked into his bar, and he had quite the bourbon selection. And he started talking about how... Uh, folks typically start out with a mixed type of drink to get a, acquire a taste for bourbon. And so he let me later that evening try bourbon straight. It was Angel's Envy, I still remember it. And uh, it was a little rough to take down, but I thought, yeah. you know what? I'm going to start my journey here. Right, and quit. a couple years quit. later, we've uh, <laughs> got a nice little collection. And So really, it's only been a couple years for you? A couple years for us, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, that's pretty awesome because I've seen your collection. So that's that's good, but that's a similar story to Mike and I. I mean, I think that's probably common. You start with a cocktail, and I would just, guess so. Yeah, it just snowballs from there. Yeah, well, I'm fortunate to have my wife that we call the VP of Search that absolutely. knows how to find yeah, things. Absolutely, and, and uh, that's allowed. Yeah. You know, I've found that if you can just get on her heels and just follow her, <laughs> and you'll find it. You'll Don't find get too it. close though. <laughs> So uh, what we've got tonight is Shauna has put together a blind, some of our collection, some of Mark's collection that he was gracious enough to bring, and these are actually all rise tonight. Um, four of the five that we have poured, I have not had the opportunity to have, so I'm excited about that. Um, I know at least a couple of them Mark hasn't had, and Mike, you were looking at the bottles I haven't had, I've had the one out of the five. <clears throat> okay. So, like I said, it's a blind. It's not a double blind. So we know, we do know what we're having. We just don't know what glass it's in. So, uh, as always, we're going to start on the left. We're going to work our way right. Mark, plan on at least two drinks. Okay. <laughs> I will definitely try to savor these instead of... Do okay. not tell him the... <clears throat> Um, proof either so he can cheat and look him up on his phone. Nice. My phone is tucked away. <laughs> I, so much anger I'm sensing out of you. He's such a cheater. <laughs> <clears throat> it's called a winner, Mike. What? Oh. <laughs> so also, to anybody that's watching tonight, welcome. We're glad to have you. And we'll start with number one, guys. Try not to wipe the number off. All right. It's on the bottom. I, I think you're the one that has a problem oh. with that. I'm honestly not getting a whole lot. A little bit of spice. I get a little spice. I get a little spice. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting much. <clears throat> yeah, I'm getting the spice out of it. <laughs> Brian, we were talking earlier about you know a trick that we were taught uh, during an old Forester uh, tour that we were yeah. going in a tasting. Yeah. You know, a lot of folks when they smell, you know, I was always one that I kept my mouth closed. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, you know, the the gentleman that was giving the tour and sharing his thoughts, you'll pick up a lot of ethanol if your mouth's closed. So I think one yeah, best practice is yeah, to that's, leave you your mouth open. You mentioned that tonight, and that was absolutely right. I mean, Shauna, Shauna called me out on that a couple months ago. We were doing one. And, but yeah, and then the Glen Cairn, the shape of the Glen Cairn, yeah. helps bring those, yes. those scents out. And that little tilt, right? So we have a comment <coughs> from Doug Pearson out in Texas. Oh, hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. He said, hey guys, um, he's not able to drink tonight because he has to go to work at 3 a.m. or wakes to go to work at 3 a.m. Doug, I hate that for you. But he told Mark not to shoot all these drinks tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Doug. That's good advice. So uh, His wife's already given him that advice. <laughs> Doug, after our last show that you were on, 
uh, one of the comments from was from Doug, and he said, when I saw Mark throw the first drink back, I knew it was going to be a good show. And he wasn't wrong. We were an hour plus <laughs> into that show, Doug, in all fairness. So uh, yeah, we tonight did, we I did uh, started with food. We did pregame for that show. Hey, that's uh, that's really smooth. Mm -hmm. What'd you get there, Mike? I got a little bit of spice out of it. It's not real harsh. That was tasty. Really smooth. It was, and it's not... There is spice there, but there's like no heat, really. No, yeah, I'm getting late, spice. Late, 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 little bit of hug on me. Really late. Yeah, it's uh, maybe on the finish. It's little. definitely yeah. like a, a pepper. <clears throat> very peppery. Yeah, Becky I like Watson it. said hi, everyone. She's drinking bottled water tonight. Hi, hi Becky. Hi, thanks Becky. for joining us, and uh, <laughs> go light on that water. Yeah. Here's to you. <laughs> Boy, look at the legs on that one, though. Mm -hmm. Boy, that was smooth. Really smooth. How many of these did you say you've had? I've had uh, two of the five. <laughs> um, we have Tea House Productions. So we have Bob down in North Carolina. He said, hello. Having a pour of Eagle Rare while, <laughs> while I watch these three ham it up. <laughs> <laughs> do, we have the, do we have the whole He House Production crew? So far, just Bob, or that's all you know of? That's all I know Bob, of. we're glad to have you. Uh, enjoy that Eagle Rare. That's a good pour. And I think for Eagle Rare, for somebody you know, just getting started, that's a, if you want to recommend something that's, uh, that's not nice quite real high proof, real smooth, I yep. uh, hope Bob enjoys that tonight. I, uh, I actually picked a bottle of that up today myself. So. Mm -hmm. Did you? Mm -hmm. You had a teammate down there, too, that picked I a bottle did. up as well. I think right. we all got one today. <clears throat> Today was, uh, you had your, your, your pick today of Weller Green, Eagle Rare, or Blanton's. It's quite the drop. Yeah, it was for, for there. It was a really little local liquor store. Really good drop for there. Mike, what'd you do today? You were off today, huh? Yeah, I slept. Yeah, I was, I was, I'm glad you called that out because <laughs> I was going to bust you out for it. Brian texted me like early this morning and then I like replied at three something maybe. We have Bob's <laughs> other half, Carol. She's on the um, on there. Carol, Kevin welcome. Westfall said hi, everyone. Hey, Kevin. Good to have you. Where's Kevin from? He's Kevin's from actually from just yeah. south of us, All right. down in the Kirksville area. Oh, Perry County. Shout out to Perry County. Yeah, <laughs> Perry County. I'm getting more spice out of the second one. We on to number two, Mike? Yeah. 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 Yeah, I was sure, I want to get ahead of yeah, I'm I'm not. I should have asked. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, but I'm not. I'm definitely getting some spice there. I'm getting less out of it. I've got a little more heat on that one. I really there. very little out of the first one. Really? Yeah, I didn't get much anything on the nose mm -hmm. on the first no. one. Maybe they're not the same. Maybe Sean. We mixed yours Sean up. Sean got mine mixed mine. up just so just for fun you two can disagree with me well, on Sean every one and of them. And Mark and I came over and kind of worked on it. We did definitely did a little bit. Did you see him doing that? <laughs> well, they just changed all your numbers around. It's Probably. Different. No, and I'd wipe them off anyways. <laughs> Mike, we said Mike won't even know. <laughs> By the time he's done with this. I'm seriously getting less on this one than the first one. On the nose. Now, here's what's interesting to me. I got more on the nose. Yeah. Less on the palate. I got less both. On both. <clears throat> that is so mild to me on the palate. I'm going to say that's bowl up. Well, having never had the bullet, I, I can't jump on that bandwagon. However, it, it kind of adds something to it. It's really mild. Well, you don't get much. Just real smooth. And no, it's, but yeah, it's smooth. Very I smooth. I mean, it tastes like a rye. It's not bad. I enjoy it's it. Not. I can drink. And uh, sit down just and so everybody up. knows what we're having tonight, um, we've got an E.H. Taylor uh, straight rye that Mark brought with him. We've got a Bullet 12-year rye, uh, a new Riff rye, a Jack Daniels twice barrel dry, and a Willet rye. So that's what we're up against tonight. Uh, the only one of that 
lineup that I've had is the Willet. So, so far we've had two, and I, I like them both. They're just, they've got different characters. Really good drinks. Yeah, you know, when I first started out, and Casey would say, hey, they got this something rye, you know, that she would look for. And I, I never really, I didn't like rye bread at all. Right. I thought, well, you know, I immediately said, well, I won't like that rye. And, you know, the advice is to try stuff like that. Because I love the rye now. I do, too. Got, I've really yeah. acquired a taste. That's a good point, it's too. It's something that's grown on me. Sean and I, we we would not, I don't want to say we, we turned our nose up at it, but rye was not on our palate. And doing the show, actually, we forced ourselves to try it. Yeah. And uh, most of it has really grown on us. Well, if we bring out a bonus tonight, that could happen. Yeah, I, well, I'm looking forward to that bonus. There, there, there might be I'm some special rye that coming. bonus. Yeah, that's, uh, uh, I don't know if we should even let Mike have it. <laughs> these bonuses. Well, yeah. He doesn't vote for them. Because he doesn't vote for a, rye, a bonus. But so. if you try five things, shouldn't all five count? To which one do you yeah, like? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, in the previous episode. <laughs> yeah, I mean, really enjoyed So if we add six, can we vote on it? I think you should vote for the six. <laughs> but I don't know, though, because you're driving. So maybe, maybe. You shouldn't even have. Terry's on his way. Now the color of number three looks. Look at the like color on there. Dark color it is darker than yeah, all it's, of them. It's a nice dark. It's nice definitely dark. darker than four. What's the proof on number three? Don't tell him, <laughs> <you>, Shauna. <laughs> okay, so Doug asked if um, this is a blind or a double. It is just a blind. Just a blind. You know, yeah. We know what we're um, Carol wanted to know if Rex joined. Carol did join. I just had to take him to the restroom. Yep. Um, and. Bob let me know that Jim is watching on his TV, but no text, but I he can guarantee he's drinking bourbon. Well, well, that's I'm glad to hear that nice. Jim is drinking bourbon. And Doug said Jack Daniels for the win. Okay, Doug. Well, that's where, that's where I'm betting, right Doug, as well. I've had the chance to try that twice barrel oh, now. What and I think it is, excellent. since Doug's got to work tonight, he just wants us to quit drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to happen, Doug. <laughs> Oh, a lot more. Boy, I'm not getting. I don't. I'm not getting much on the nose either. N not, not as much spice, but just sweet. If anything, I'm they're a little bit sweet. sweet. I mean, if I stick my nose clear down in it again, don't drown. I get the well could be the twice barrel right there <laughs> coming in at number three. I don't know. I think it's based C. on the color. I think it's C. H. Taylor. I would say that might no. C. H. Taylor is not that. The color is nice. No, no I don't think it's C. H. Taylor based on color. I think it'd be the Jack based yeah. on color, but I don't know. I gave Sean a twenty dollars, and she wouldn't give up the answer. So, <laughs> what's well, smooth? Doug just said, a... "Heck no, he's just jealous he can't play along." <laughs> <laughs> Doug, we'd love to have you. We can make room for the fourth. We can always throw Mike out too. That makes yeah, it a lot we better. Can throw Mike out. <laughs> I'll probably just fall out by the time I get to number five. <clears throat> just pick me up when you're done. Now that's that got has a, a different word. <clears throat> that's got a little more bite. On Not as smooth. Tongue. And it's got it's something got, else. It, it is smooth, but it almost feels like it's maybe been barreled twice. <laughs> Hmm. Did you get that mic or not? <laughs> Mike, I feel like you would prefer not to have Mark and I on either side. Oh. <laughs> At least you're in the middle. <laughs> put Brian in the middle. <laughs> you can't do that. It's my show. Yeah. Well, you should be in the middle then. <laughs> well, I'm... I don't know. I'm getting three for three. I've enjoyed all three of yeah, these. Yeah, too. What are you getting on that? I'm getting something besides spice on this. I mean spice, but then I'm getting a different taste too. A little, little more oak to me. Kind of like it's been through the barrel twice. Maybe. Do you think that's what it is? No, I don't know. Honestly, I really don't know. But it's definitely way different than the first. Because I am not a Jack Daniels fan, but that if that's what it is, and well, I batted twenty percent last time. I got one right. I had confidence that I had all of them right, but it's, uh, well, here's the thing: it has a thickness. <laughs> when you had the same answer on every glass, well, I did. Yeah, I was bound to get one right. It was all about the Colonel Taylor, though, and uh, and then in the beginning, the he said what his favorite was ended up being 
his least favorite by the end. You were just really bitter about that. <laughs> and he was all giddy about Booker's, if you remember. Yeah, I remember. Was, oh, yeah, you remember. It was his favorite Booker's. And, favorite, and I'll, yeah. I'll probably never forget that, Bert, that Booker's. And now it's your Tinky's favorite. Tinky's batch. It? Exactly. Now Tinky's it's your batch. favorite. No. no. <laughs> You said it was, remember? Well, they only released 100 bottles of that. Mike's got 98 of them. Probably. I, every time I come across one, I pick So nobody else could possibly know who if they right. Exactly. I've probably got five bottles of those. <laughs> of the 98. I know where you got one of those bottles. I benefited from that, though. Yeah. You, you got a Weller 12? No, I got a... E I got a... Uh, Elmer T. Lee. Elmer T. Lee, yeah. That was, that was great. With, With a sticker. sticker. With a sticker. Guys, when I say bourbon collection, these two over here, off the hook. Off First the of hook. all, my, my, my boss I report to said you're a collector. Boy, that made me mad. We, kind of, we do have quite the collection, but we enjoy. I enjoy drinking it. Anything can yeah, be I, it at yeah, any yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. You know, and I know, and I can speak from experience that we were, Mark and Casey had us over one night, and... Uh, Mark graciously opened up the bottle. It's going to be the bonus, possible bonus tonight. Oh, there's a bonus? Possibly. <laughs> Just because Mike hates bonus, we're having a bonus tonight. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> all right, guys. What do you think? Number four? Should Number we see four. what it's all about? Hmm. Boy, one, two, four, and five. The color is uh, dead on. I get leather. I really do. I'm not joking. I'm not getting anything. Are you getting buttery popcorn? No, I got. I kind of got that on number three. Yeah. <clears throat> Bringing back the buttery popcorn. I can't popcorn. call it out. Well, because I didn't want you to make fun of me. Well, I'd never make no. fun of you, Mike. <laughs> I, mean, I like, did. I kind of got some. It's not like we can't go to the memory bank. I got some uh, popcorn butter on number three. I'm getting musty. Du is it musty or lust dusty? <laughs> or lusty. That might, or be, lusty. <laughs> that might be my soft. By the time I get to five, it's lusty. It's more lusty for me. It's mind. dusty. Musty. Starts as dusty. Based on the view I have now, it's definitely more lusty. <laughs> Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, jeez. <laughs> mm. Whatever I'm... Oh. Whatever I'm smelling on that comes through on the palate. <clears throat> so that wasn't mm -hmm. good to you? I would say four, maybe. I think so far. I haven't had the Willie product. Are you serious? I would say that, <clears throat> that tasted. So far, I think that's I my know. favorite. That's, that, that's, that's got like, a taste to it. I wish Shauna was tasting this because she can tell us what she tastes. Hmm. Yeah, it's she, funny, too, because she usually does these with us. She's really good at... Uh, Articulating what's when we figure out what that is, she needs a taste of it so she can say. I could pour you up a set in order if you tell me what order. No, Mike, if we bring the wheel up, would that nice try there, Brian? I think the wheel, maybe we should bring the wheel up. I'm getting way, I'm getting uh, musty. Musty is musty on the musty on there. What's close to musty? So, Brian, tell us about this wheel. I don't think you'll find musty on there. So, when we started and we were, we were working out of our kitchen. Shauna and I were, would be like, yeah, we taste something. Or in Shauna's case, I smell something, but I really can't put my finger on it. And that happened a lot. So she did some research and she found a bourbon tasting wheel yeah. that lists your basic notes, both scent and taste. Um, and so out in the wood shop, she created this bourbon tasting wheel so that when we were doing our our reviews we could have that wheel in front of us and of course Sean is very competitive so she made a game out of it which she's kicking my tail at there's still a yeah. tally here yeah but you can go through here so we're drinking rye we're so that's going to be in right a spicy which which are pretty piece. basic yeah as far as your flavor notes go um it's going to have more grain in it because rye is a grain exactly Exactly. So, basically, this wheel would give you all those flavors, or a majority of them, and notes. There. Um, so, Brian, let me ask. Are you taking orders for these wheels? Because... Oh, well, you know, we would probably... <laughs> we, 
You know, you ought to get into sales. <laughs> well, I should, you because should, you should I've had the privilege to have one at our place. Now, These are amazing. Mark's is, uh, yeah, this yeah. is a really small 15-inch wheel, but well, I, I think yours is a little larger than that. It's a little bit bigger. Because maybe you have everything's a, bigger on a sight lane. issue, a sight issue maybe? Yeah, I can't see. <laughs> yeah, period. Um, but it's really handy, and it's fun to, it's fun to kind of have and look at. Holy crap. And, and guys, if you hear Rex, I apologize. It's just another member of the studio Mr. audience. Inbound. Mm -hmm. Wilson and Roe, the Wilson is showing up now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think. We've had to put up with the R, but that's... Earthy. Earthy on number four. Yes. Really? Bill okay. Bill Barker is in the house. Bill Barker hey, in the house. Bill, cheers. Hi, How Bill. You Haven't met you, Bill, but hello. Earthy, leather. What are you getting? You know what it's I'm getting? Weird. I'm getting brown sugar on the on the palate. Oh, yeah. Um, the nose, I really don't. I don't get. I don't get much, much on the nose. Well, uh, I'm, I, I get, I get leather. Whatever I'm getting on the nose comes through on the palate. leather. Yeah, that's yeah. right there, Mark. Yeah, under, under spice, under earthy, under earthy leather, under spicy earth. That's good. Mm. That's a good job, Mike. See, and I got that before I saw the wheel. And you have one of those wheels, correct, Mike? I have it in my binder. Where's buttery popcorn? Right. We talked wheel, about Mike. that last time. Mm -hmm. But what, what, here. what did Shauna put on my binder? No, no. <laughs> I don't know that we can get into nicknames. I think no, she put on there, vote for the bonus. Yeah, probably. I think, I think she put bonus Mike. Bonus Mike. Aww. Bonus. Yeah, bonus Mike. I'm either offended or... <laughs> that's weird. It's just weird. I don't to me. know. I think, Number four I think is weird flavor to me. wise, that's, that might. I don't know. We'll the see. finish was a little different for me. And the definitely. smell. It's weird to me. One seven. definitely by far is just weird. Of course, that when would it be comes Brian's to smooth favorite. and not, not getting that afterbite, one might be a good starter bourbon as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll check them out again when we go back. Folks that don't yeah, like that. See, if, I was, if I was Shauna and she's yet to do one of these lives, I would have a little note card here and yeah. I'd have notes and. I'm just trying to remember by the time I get to this end what I tasted on it's this all there in a think tank, yeah. yeah. Number three, buttery popcorn. Are you ready for number five? Yeah, let's go. Thinking you ain't, three, you barrel, ain't, yeah. barrel twice at least. Your ride's here now. You're ready to go. Yep. <laughs> now. <laughs> We're on to five already. Number five smells good. What's the count on our viewers? Are we up to, is it growing? We have nine. 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 Hi. Very nice. I like five comes across good on the nose. Wow. That's got a nice little, I, I'm getting a nice little spice on the nose. Yeah. That's just, a good little taste. A little spice. Any coffee? Getting any coffee out of that? That's in your earthy tone. Mm. I would say that's a little stronger on the yeah. spice on yeah. the palate. Definitely. Than anything else has been. But I don't get it until <clears throat> towards the back. It was the on back. the finish. It was on the finish. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't have a hard time drinking any one of those five. I, I like five. <laughs> what are you looking at? Proof. Is he allowed to? He ain't allowed to look at the proof. What's the proof on number five, the Terry? The bottles are right here. He's yeah. cheating. Yeah. He's cheating. Shauna. Just in case. Yeah. Cheater. Just in case. You see me turn <laughs> down <laughs> to the left. He's cheating. I don't know the answer. If, if so I'm resourceful is, is the word we used yeah, last time. Yeah, that's yeah. exactly. Yeah. Right. I'm well, that's right the right word. That. Of course, right I remember, remember that. that. Hmm. Oh my. Is there an early pick out of the gate? I like Number five was I mean, pretty I decent. Really like I like three and five like right now. Would you be okay if Mark picked one at this point? Well, yeah, because yeah. I'm going with Mark. Really? That's wow. 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 The first. There, there we go. <laughs> We're still not friends, but then wow. <laughs> <laughs> the 
there's not lots of room for activity back there. So. <laughs> I really like five. I'm now I'm debating between three and five. I'm going with five. That seriously. If I want to gulp them all right now, I'd pick three or five. But now that we're going to go another well, round, I'm, five, I'm glad to see that you're kind of growing in your. Yeah, four is just weird to me. I know. And that's why four, Brian four has a different taste to me. Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to go through One was again. just so smooth that... I definitely <laughs> am not on board with you guys throwing number five out there as one of the... I like five. Well, we'll see. That's why they make so many of them. That's why everybody pal everyone's palate's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. That's right. Number one has a little bit of that number four taste. I will it. say, before we go <laughs> back through them, and I, I say this a lot, you could pour any of them and I'm yeah. going to drink it. Yeah. There has been a few on this show, believe it or not, that would be like down here. You didn't take it down. Yeah. They're well, all still on the shelf. Yeah. The yeah, yeah they're, they're, I they're think all, I could drink yeah. any of these. They're all in play. <clears throat> they're all in play. They're all fairway shots at this point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Seems fitting. You know, on a side note, I had, I, you know, traveled pretty extensively the last couple weeks and had the chance to be down in Atlanta. And uh, we stayed really north of there in a little town called Gainesville and had a chance uh -huh. to go to a, a winery down there. In case you remember the name of that, that winery it was called. Uh, we'll, we'll look it up here in a second. But uh, they had seven restaurants on site at this, at at this winery right. and quite the bourbon selection. And when we walked in and sat down and looked at the bourbon collection, they had the Maker's Mark Cellar Age. So Mike and I had the chance to... Uh, Stay all night for a pretty important drop uh, for some liquor yeah. one time. And Mike, we drank at least one or two tastes of the uh, Cellar Age. But yeah, anybody that's had the chance to try that. Chateau Elan Winery and Resort. Chateau, Chateau Elan, Elan Winery and Resort. There's a Hampton Inn on site that it's in Gainesville, Georgia. Gainesville, Georgia. Is okay. uh, just right outside of Gainesville, maybe 10 just miles. Just the fact that they have a bourbon selection makes it a winery worthwhile going to. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Really? That would be the wine kind of winery you'd like exactly. to go to. I mean, they got they they offer something <laughs> for everybody, right? Yeah. But I think that's Maker's Mars first time uh, uh, aging a bourbon in a cellar, and uh, it's anyone that hasn't tried it, if you can get we, your hands on. We it, actually, it. Sean and I were, were lucky enough that we had Mike on for a show, and uh, Mike brought a bonus. He brought a bonus. Mike Did you vote for the bonus, bonus that night? You weren't, you weren't allowed. Um, I'm not sure. We were still on air, but uh, it was cellar aged. Yeah. It was maker cellar aged. And I was, I can remember that I was like, because Sean and I can't get anything like that. But. that well, if you stay all night, sometimes you can. It's the night we needed after hours filming. Yes. Because them two. So Mike often, <laughs> Mike often says we should film after the show's over. <laughs> this is where it's at. Last week, would you have agreed with that? Would you I have guess. Liked that? Really? I guess. Wouldn't it have made for... Not me. There was no filming allowed after <laughs> last show. I did. After your show? Yeah. yeah. After your show, there was no more film? After somebody kept pouring George T. Stagg in my Oh, yes. Yeah. That would have been you. <laughs> that would have been you. The Number glass, five. The glass owner kept pouring out, I believe. But hey, they brought, I they, didn't pour it. They board. brought it. Terry, the Terry, owner, Terry. The glass <laughs> Oh, the glass owner. owner. Yeah, the glass the owner. Glass. Yeah. So, well, this is where great. I stand right now. Three and three and five. That was a great show. Though. Yeah, yeah, that was. It was, it was a great show. That okay, let's let's go back through them. I okay, did. These two are good mixers. Three and five are a really mixer. good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and four's just weird. A mixer. Weird. I don't yeah. see weird on the dial here. Does anybody see weird well, on the dial? We're going to have to have Shauna drink this one and tell us what she gets off of it because it's something different. I'm guessing that's probably the Jack. Maybe we should go back through and then we'll you pick think one. You four is the Jack? Yeah. Because it's weird and I like yeah. it. There's no way. Yeah. That's why you like it because it's weird. <laughs> but I'm not really a Jack guy. Well, remember. I though. ain't either. His four is our two. Do you yeah. remember how we did the oh, rotation? Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. If three or five is Jack, I'm going to You don't even really know. Be Jack. You don't even know. We're going to be Jack. We've three got a whole other right. key for your We glasses. have a different chart for you, Mike. He's. We have the same glasses pulled out. 
Quincy means to <laughs> I'm starting on one. Okay. Back I, to I've one. already went back to one. When? Mike, take your that time. That wasn't part of the... Sipping bourbon's about sipping. This ain't bourbon. And everything. But it ain't well, bourbon. straight rye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Our studio audience seems shocked that Mark's going That Mark would comment on sipping bourbon. <laughs> I don't know. I really like one. One, is, I like them all. Though. One is excellent. I, I mean, like. Is, is he I has like them all. Still following. Yeah, he's on there. If I was going to mix a cocktail, I'd use one and two. If I was going to sit down and drink something, three and five. When's the last time you mixed? And a I would give you four if you come to my house. <laughs> now you see, I, I, that's bullshit. That <laughs> not right. When I come to your house. I can have whatever I want. I know, but I would push four. That's because Terry's in there. <laughs> and Terry you, makes the rules. If you house. pushed four, I would tend to lean away from it. Because I would think, well... Brian, you've really got to try he's this. He's just trying to get rid of this. And I'm like Mikey right now. He's trying to push this on. Thought next time you're invited there. Yeah, yeah, I've got to remember that. Might as well just bring your own stuff. Try this one. Try this one, Brian. I'd be like, no, Mike. Uh, no, Mike, thanks for inviting us over. I brought this whole case of uh, Try this. <laughs> Here, Mike, we brought a bag of chips and I uh, brought my own bourbon. <laughs> Mike, did you grow up on Mad Dog 2020? Or oh, where my gosh. As started? a matter of fact, I think uh, Are you old when we were teenagers. Brown bag? Uh, we would grab us some Mad Dog and go out to the lake and have some of it, yeah. That and uh, the Boone's Farm. <laughs> Strawberry Hill. Probably, yeah. I am, yeah I how about I Wild Irish Rose? I don't remember. I mean, those are, I mean, that's a good old days, right? Oh, there. how you've been educated in the liquor stage. Oh my gosh. Now. Yeah. <clears throat> I've stepped it up a notch from Mad Dog 2020. That might be a dozen notches. Or so. <laughs> That's a whole nother level, isn't it? Out at the Wilson Road plantation. What? Man. Oh, you tell me you can't smell butter on that. Terry, do you guys have any Boone's Farm? Which one are you on? Three. Well, no, three's are five. <laughs> smell three. Okay. God, I didn't even know they still made it. Oh, I, well, I, I get either. butter. Shauna, come smell this. You might be right. Was do you smell butter? butter? I think I do smell a little was butter. It, was it strawberry? The strawberry Hill Boone's Farm? Yeah, yeah, that's what all the girls. That was the big one. Casey There's did butter. drop some of that smart popcorn in there earlier with my that's, Well, then that done. So uh, if we I get remember better. this right, if I remember this right, Bob from uh, He House shared shared a story with. I don't know, Bob. I'm, I apologize if I'm not allowed to share this story. But when he met his wife, he was going to take her a drink, and she was drinking Zima. That was my very first and alcoholic Carol, drink. Carol, I know you're watching too. So. Is Zima considered alcoholic? Yes, it has. So my question drink. is, at least to a teenager, it was. I wasn't a Zima drinker. That was in my Navy days. But Zima. I can remember. Apparently, they put Jolly Rogers in Zima. That's how they flavored it. Jolly Ranchers. Jolly, Jolly Ranchers. Ranchers. Yeah. Jolly Rogers. <laughs> yeah. Jolly Ranch. They put Jolly. Have you had? Put when Jolly did you start? Because you've been drinking all day. I had now. six or seven. Oh, okay. Have six or seven. Hang on, Aaron. Anyway, <laughs> Jolly Ranchers. So, Carol, if that's a true story. Did you drink your Zima with a Jolly Rancher in it, and what flavor? Was Zima a white can or like a silver can? No, it's can a bottle. Or like a bottle, yeah. Fancy yeah, cut a, bottle. I don't remember. I don't think they served it in a can. No, no, no it was, it was a clear yeah. bottle. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was. I never yeah, saw it in a can. Clear bottle, because it was a clear bottle. Was with a blue label. I was working in a carryout at seventeen, and I thought that would be the last thing they noticed missing. So I mean, so I they were you were seventeen and far from in between. Hey, Carol responded. She said she drank it straight. Being the badass that she is. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, Carol. Carol, you're in my round. So did I. Non badass, badass. So I did don't I. Even know why I doubted you, really? <laughs> when I was 17. <laughs> Bob's probably thinking, Damn 17 Brian, again. <laughs> we're supposed to share that. Um. And Jimmy's laughing. He's over at the house laughing. Doug said, I had one very rough one. night in my youth from Boone's Farm. Ugh, never again. Oh. <laughs> I think we've all been there, Doug. We've all been there. 
Boone's Farm. It took five bottles to have a rough night. <laughs> <laughs> you, are we, you on to, to number two now? Yeah. Mike's got a solid. I mean, he's he just, like, yeah. you just drank out of three. Well, so you, don't, you asked me to try it. We kind of got off, off track, but that's okay. Oh, this Mike, guy. I thought you were leading this episode. Oh, this guy. I'm going on to this weird number four. How'd you get the four? We're on two. No, he just two. drank out of three. You missed us. See, two, I'm he's going up. backwards and then coming back. That's how he's getting his double. You know, I don't follow you the You should rules. be happy with him. He should. Then he's still got bourbon. You should be there. glad. Last time I was <laughs> sipping air. <laughs> I know. Right? By the time we just to act like I was participating. Uh, yeah, no, he there. was. There he was, was like a, back an empty glass. There was a little bit that come down yeah. off of the legs that yeah, he was there, trying to. No, he wasn't even getting that. <laughs> Now, number two, this time, I'm picking up. What is it? Hmm. Let me try it one more time. You need to have a little more. See, Brian's down that far. He is, isn't he? I'm trying my hardest, Sean, and not to wipe these numbers off. And look, I haven't yet. Why is it so hard for you? Mike? Because I hold by the bottom like you're supposed to on a Glen Cairn. What am I doing? You're warming up. Well, you put your thumb right here on the bubble. And you warm up. And here. And you warm up. And here. Three. <laughs> and it warms up. It's hard to get good help. It really is. <laughs> Mike's quick to point the finger, not knowing three's coming back at oh, him, yes. right? Yeah. What? Apparently, they were called well. Stick your finger they out. They don't have one the camera. Fingers. Now, how many's back at you? Nine. Three. One, two, three. Oh, I thought you meant viewers. <laughs> Where'd you find He's all ours, folks. <laughs> Alongside oh, the road somewhere? Oh, Mikey. I like the unfind. <laughs> I like the smell of one. I still like three. Because why, Mark? Because why? Tell us. What's it smell like and taste like? What do you get on it? Well, I get what do you get more, of a, more of something like maybe it's, I don't know, been through the barrel a couple times. And what else? What flavor? It's got to be. You getting a little butter, Mark? A little butter. <laughs> you know, like a little like butter? More, a little butter, butter? I feel like there's more body to three. There's just more. Did substance. you say more butter? Yeah, me too. No, I, I think not so say too. butter. See, number or one and number one and two, <laughs> and I might be wrong, but number one and two seem like a very a straight rye, just like straight rye. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, I, and they're not all straight rye, right? And or I rabbit. feel like one and two are close. You could serve up to anybody. Yeah. You now one like doesn't have this. any any aftertaste, any burn. <laughs> two has a little more. If I'd have had one it. of those two as my first rye, I probably would not have ever had the mindset that I didn't like rye. Exactly. Yeah. Because you don't taste it. No, I don't think so. No, you don't get that. You don't get that rye spice. That Three rye. has more substance to it. I, yep. I agree with Mike. I do. I do. There's a little bit of buttery in there. I never thought it was. And even on the palate, it's a it's a little bit um, more complex and thick. I never thought I would hear anybody some say that. Yeah, with, with Mike. Mike. Yeah, I don't know. There's I I for me that's probably right now. See, Ooh, three. Yeah. And not that weird number four. Yeah, that's. I don't know. See, I think we should have left just Man. a little bit in whichever one we pick as the winner. I'm really and impressed. And then we'll throw a bonus. How much you still? I'm got. surprised well, you have any left. There's one thing I know in life. I'm. I consider myself a curious learner, and you guys taught me a lot of stuff about last time. And last Are time you was. Are sure we taught? Don't do you? this. Don't do that. Don't do this. So I. I think there was a listen lot. well, so now here I am, not much, not having as much. So fun, listen, off topic, off topic for a minute. Um, you mentioned that you started your bourbon journey with an old fashioned. Yeah. Sean and I did an old fashioned show a few weeks ago. Yeah. Did you see it? No, I had. I did. Okay. We. I, and I'm a I'm a top contributor to the cast five twenty nine. I know you are. She wanted to try. Uh, an old fashioned with a rye from, I never remember her name, and Shauna laughs at me. She picked it out. She, said, yeah, she really liked it. Help me out. Western Shana. Reserve. Western Reserve. I can't, it's not on the label right yeah. now. Oh, sorry. Plus, he can't see right now. No, I can see, but it's not right there on the label. Anyway, we got a rye from Western Reserve. Yeah. 
really liked it. She said, I'd like to have an old fashioned with that. I said, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll have a show. Yeah. I'll make four old fashions. I won't tell you what I used. She nailed it. It'll be, no, she did not. Whoa. I knew which ones were rise, though. Yeah, I did. Yeah, two yeah, rise, yeah, two rise, two burpees. So my favorite old fashioned yeah. up to that point was with Makers. Makers Mark. That was mine. That really? was my favorite. So I used it. It's so I sweet. used the Western Reserve Rye that we had. Yeah. Um, Woodford? No. What was one over here I used? Bullet? I was going to say, did you What's use a bullet? bullet? I think I you used bullet. Courtney George T. Stagg in that one. I did not. Okay, that might be. However, I used a wild card. Yeah? I used a wild card. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, that's what it was. That's the one, breed that's one she dry. picked out. That's the one she picked out. So, <clears throat> she had no idea what, what my four bottles were. We had four. And you picked that one? It was, our, it was both of our number ones. It See, makes it really good. So you're a rye fan too. Now the downside is it's a sixty dollar bottle, but my God, is it an awesome old fashioned? It's hard to pour sixty. And it's bucks. easy to find. It is. You can get down. Let's one anywhere. and two wasn't one of the more expensive bottles that Mike said. Oh, these are mixers. <laughs> I he, for that fact, I hope they were. But Mike's kind of a high proof guy. He likes. Well, he's a one twenty right proof. We discovered. Well, last everything's week. around hundred, isn't it? I think the highest proof. Yeah, is, everything's right around hundred. But well, nobody's allowed to tell me the proof because yeah, I have my cell phone. Yeah, yeah, because Mark, is, we, let's not get into that either. <laughs> um, what Better. happened is, last week we discovered that Mike is a little bougie. Oh, he's definitely bougie in his bourbons. And bougie, his case. not boozy. Said <laughs> I know, I was just clarifying. You're both, that. really. I've seen you in both Last states. Last week, you were also boozy. <laughs> I've seen you in both states, Mike. Oh, you geez. were a bougie boozer last week. <laughs> <laughs> you should. Maybe okay. that should be part of the slogan. Bob thinks that bullet, you use bullet. Bullet, thanks, Bob. It's it's foggy. It's foggy here tonight. It's raining, foggy. And you've drank, you have drank more than Mark tonight. Not yet. Holy cow. We're not done. done. I thought, the, yeah, it's, it's not a sprint. <laughs> I still think five and three are yeah, like, I really like five. Five and three are right there for me right now. See, I'm going to put four out there with three. Four. Let's try four. I'm going to put four out there. I don't, I'm going to try five again, but. It's a lot like one and two, but it has a little aftertaste. Yeah. And four? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Four, four hangs out for like... Yeah, I think You ever it's... like been around somebody for too long and you like <clears throat> wish they would leave? Yes. <laughs> Haven't we all? How much time we got left, Sean? <laughs> Almost 20 minutes. Yeah. We can go long. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that was a joke. It just didn't say it. It didn't say it. <laughs> but four has like that aftertaste. It's not bad. I just think one and one and two there are so smooth that I don't get that a lot. I don't get a lot of that substance mixers. Out. Yeah, mixers. Yeah. yeah, I haven't had a mixer drink in a while. Yeah, I was a Captain and Cranberry guy. A lot of people thought that was crazy, but it was I more of a Southern of type of deal. That, Captain and Cranberry. And I've had kidney stones in my life, so they said drink cranberry juice. So yep. why not mix a little Captain in there? You guys probably already had your five again. Oh, yeah, I've had all of them three or four times. I, I've definitely, I, I don't know, for me, three and five or. Yep, that's me. There. That's me. So, before you guys um, decide your lineup and we put them out, do you want to show what we're giving away? Um, yeah. Okay. Um, something simple this week. Exciting. Cask 529 ball cap and a laser engraved. Cask 529 cool. flask, which is a must-have, I mean, for anybody. I think we should add to the pot. That Even there's is, only nine people. I think we should. Yeah, that's that's, this, that's a big deal. That's up to you, Mark. Well, the Scott family would like to donate. We had 
Casey Joe and I recently traveled out to California and uh, we were able to get into some nice bourbon out there and some nice liquor and uh, we flew out with every intention to fly back and we just came across this is a, great a little story. too many <laughs> cases of bourbon that uh, wouldn't go on the plane financially uh, Made so sense. Or legally. No From California. Now or, we live or, in Ohio. Or legally. Well, let's not talk about legal money. So we Legal's decided to drive back. And uh, one of the cases we picked up was some E.H. Taylor small batch. That's so awesome. On behalf of us, we're going to donate one of those bottles well, to thank you. the collection. Thank you very much. That's our viewers, I'm sure. Uh, most of them realize probably what that is. Yeah. And how awesome that is. Um, now awesome. we're having the E.H. Taylor straight rye tonight. Yeah, and, but this and I don't know which one really it good. is, but <clears throat> I'm, I'm betting it was probably phenomenal. Yes. I hope it wasn't five. It's five. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. I, yeah. I mean, I think, I've had it. I think Willa is three. We, we've been savoring our, our rye because it's really, it just doesn't drop. Was it dropped one time in the last couple of years? Straight rye in Ohio? Yeah. Yeah. So, Shauna, I didn't mean to interrupt Mark, but we may have to run a little bit long because you're going to do two separate giveaways, right? No, I'm going to do all in one with Mr. Taylor. You're just um, going to draw two winners? It's your yeah. show. One you winner. Oh, one winner gets the whole I mean, shebang. Woo! Not now, downplay. we're not going to draw because we might get a few more Not to downplay viewers. your bottle. I mean, I hate to take away from your bottle because... Somebody's well, cast, anything with cast 529 on it's worth money. Look at us. We're all Look. supporting them. Hey, place your orders today. I would recommend the larger one. Now, it took him about, I don't know, three hours to deliver it, so their lead time's a little excessive. But we and, love our wheel. And, and yours is solid cherry. It is unbelievable. Ours was just... For $525, what do you expect? So, now, but place your God, order today. I wish we could sell something for $525. <laughs> We'll sign it for that's four seventy five. So that's why mine's Mike paper. and I. That's why mine is dumb paper. and dumber. That's why you sign it. That's why mine's on paper. <laughs> <laughs> we still have the nine viewers. Can we get? Can we call that out and get a few more? Somebody share this. Have Trevor join. Get somebody Text else. Trev and have get somebody join. else online. Why would they want to do that? They want to have a better chance. Well, I, I see the... what you're saying, but. <laughs> They probably I feel it. like I'm for a bottle, for this bottle, we should have. Yeah, secondaries 85. Now I am working on the giveaway. It is being contrary. So Shauna, behind the scenes, is working on making everything work with the giveaway. As soon as she has that figured out, we'll tell you what you need to do to get entered. In the meantime, so we don't put names in a half in and draw it. We got high no, tech. Oh, it's high tech. That's it's got high be tech. electronic. Yeah. Wow. When yeah. do we get the bonus? Do you want to do the bonus? Do you want to include it in this? Do you or think should we, we should allow Mike the bonus should since we he get never one votes of these for it? And then, and then have the bonus. What do you think, Mike? Have the bonus and count it. Yes. And it could win. Yes, it I could. Want to, I'm always for counting for the bonus. It could actually win. But you wouldn't allow Mark. No, I'm to always pick. for counting for the bonus. Allow Mark to pick. <laughs> <laughs> was he that drunk last time that he doesn't what? recall? What? I didn't even realize that he was. Hey, what's, yeah, that, what's that commercial we showed? We throw the flag and we show the replay. Progressive. Progressive. Huh? I was going to say. Are we allowed to mention that or replay. not? Instant replay. It started. Um, they have to do. It's in the comments. Um, they have to comment exclamation point raffle. And All caps, or it doesn't matter? No, lowercase. It's in the comments. Okay. Exactly. We already have three people entering. It's in the comments, guys. Exclamation people, point. The if they buy a wheel, do they get two <laughs> entries? <laughs> Don't, Don't forget to put eggs down here. Point. Okay. I'm going to put these down here for... Can, uh, we, can we reveal? Where? Do, how far am I going? Do you want to reveal now, or to do you, that, you want or? this to be... Do you I, want this to be part of the our number one? Let's let the audience well, we know what it is. The audience, do you want to know what the bonus is now or after? Please. Yeah, that's that's just give it because there's, there's a let's delay. Let's let's finish these so up. At least a couple of these. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish one and two because they're. I'm out. gonna finish three and five, and I'm. 
I want Shauna to taste four and tell us what she One tastes. was okay. I mean, it was, one is a really smooth. Guys, that giveaway is phenomenal. I mean, I suspect that anybody that's watching this video has entered for that giveaway. That camo hat ranks right up there. It, well, I, think I like that camo hat. I think it's a flask that does it. I like that. Now, if you're in the woods, you wouldn't be able to see. That's true. But So you could put on the, the hat. Walk right through it. You could fill your flask up with single barrel. As you're going. Yeah. Small batch. And you can sit there and nobody <laughs> see it. It's filled up with small batch. Small batch. Yeah, I said single barrel, small batch. Let's not upgrade that gift too much. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Unless you're donating that one. <laughs> well, I can't donate something I don't have, Mark. <laughs> one was really, really smooth. It really was, but I wouldn't quite call it a mixer, but yeah, to me, I'm mixing it's, one to and me, two. it's not a mixer. Yeah, no, none of these are. Well, out of these four, no. I hope you bite your tongue on that. What? What? We, what? What? Don't be looking up on the shelves. That's what, what rye? Got me in trouble last time. What rye would you mix with? Well, you, why couldn't it be one or two? We wouldn't mix. I it would mix we? if I was mixing a rye. <clears throat> your wild turkey rare breed? No. <laughs> why couldn't I put new riff rye? Not at six. Probably this. Probably this bullet ninety-five oh, rye right here. Man, I, I would mix that yeah, wild that. turkey one on one. That one right there. Or bullet, regular bullet rod. Is that $18 or $19? What, this bullet? <laughs> I think it's right around the $40 mark. Is it really? Why, what's yeah, this bullet? $54.99. Is it really? Who's looking it up? The 12-year. It's $54. Oh. Yeah, the 12-year. How about the regular the regular rye, Terry? $18.99. $27.99. Is it, is it that low? I thought it was higher than that. At odd lots. <laughs> it's not that bad, Mark. <laughs> What's the new grip? Right. What's what? what? The, best the new grip. Old fashions. Yeah. Old fashioned, you do. That's in the Or in my bourbon smash. 750 milliliters, $26.99. $26.99. That's on the roll. High roller. $26.99. High roller. You gave 27. You gave a dollar more. That's what we use to make the bourbon. Who would have gave that? Terry. I'll sell it. What's Have you had a bourbon smash? With I've taken some. Out What's a bourbon smash? I'll autograph it, Terry. It's Hang on. Respect. Hang on. We got. We got. We got a question. It is. I saw it today. <laughs> out to the crowd. What's a bourbon smash? So you take uh, an ounce and a half of the bourbon rye. Take three quarter ounce of. Gotta have your mixing Lemon glass. juice. Lemon juice. And um, three quarter ounce butler. of. Um, I use blackberry syrup, mm -hmm. mix those together, and then top it off, shake that up with ice. With You're putting oil. a fruit in there of some kind. Blackberry syrup. No, we syrup. use the syrup. syrup. The thick oh, syrup. Oh, what's the syrup we have? What's now? the name of that? Tur tur uh, we put them in our protein so, shake. So then it's you put white. it in your cup, and then you top it off with ginger beer. And a mint. Oh, ginger beer. We mint have leaves. ginger beer here at Cash Mike. Mint leaves. Not here. Smack your mint leaves. Huh. It's All right, I'm going to stick with straight rye. It's a lot easier. You like it? I love it. Yeah, it's one of his favorite drinks. We actually did a show. Sean and I have done a couple shows where we made smashes. Uh, Any comments on the I bonus? just don't like all that stuff in my drink. On what we should do? It's good for individuals who are not ready um, to drink straight bourbon. Mm -hmm. I am sorry. What did you ask? I we asked them to say, do you... Do, we, do they want to see the bonus before we pour it or after we pour it? After we decide. They want to see it now. Now. I, Kevin Westfall said now. Bring it over. However, do you guys want to know what these are? Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. Ready? Well, Mike says the bonus counts. Let's yeah. tell. All of a sudden, okay. yeah, the Mike's bonus counts. Count. All of a sudden now, tonight, I mean, the bonus counts. So I've always felt that, that way. <laughs> oh, my God. Guys, if you've watched the show, you know... <laughs> Look it, not, <laughs> Look it up. I'm in the video and I'm doing this. <laughs> this is not the mic. And Mike is doing this. <laughs> anyway. Pour it, pour it, pour it. So go ahead and pour it. Pour, pour, yes. pour. Okay. So. Well, yeah, show them. Live from Cast 529 headquarters, I present Thomas H. Handy. One of the BTAC lineups. BTAC stands for... 
Buffalo Trace Antique Collection. And how many yeah. bottles are in the antique collection? I don't know. Five. 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 Thank you. Who can name them? George T. Stagg. George T. Stagg. That one in our last episode, as you remember, number five. What, but yeah. did it? Yeah. 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 It did, in my mind. It did. Yeah, I Eagle thought. Rare 17. Eagle Rare 17. 17 year. William LaRue Weller. William LaRue Weller. And Sazerac 18. Sazerac 18. And number five? Thomas H. Thomas H. Handy. And thank you. Sazerac, and that's a straight where I whiskey. To. Does that And that proof. That, that proof is 124.9. Thank you to Taters, Mark, and Casey for providing us tonight. Thank you for the OHLQ lottery that we were successful. <laughs> not once, not twice, but three times. So what's that like winning that lottery? It's unbelievable. <laughs> we're hoping for more. We're hoping for more. And those of you that haven't entered the spring lottery, please don't. Yeah, please don't. Quit talking about it. I was going to say, quit talking no, about it. Do not I'm enter the lottery. You do, however, have to be an Ohio resident to enter the OHLQ lottery. Uh, they verify driver's license. Nice Number catch. One. Those are solid. I want glasses. mine smaller than that. Okay. A lot less. That'll be mine then. That's good. There's Mike's. Thank you. Clean up on aisle four. We have had spills here before. Maybe not to that level. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not to that expense. <laughs> and that was number five too. That's a shame. Here, let me. Yeah, that wasn't that wasn't the Thomas Handy that he you spilled. You can uh, go ahead and put that towel in your mouth if you want. Yeah. Is this the Thomas? There's Handy? a joke on that, you know, right? That's we're not going to get into that. Did you get any, or was that your this was that your poor? No, one? that's his mine. Mike didn't, didn't want, want the much. big boy. So, Thomas Handy versus number three, which is twice barreled, and number five. Is total speculation. E.H. Taylor, okay. straight total right. speculation. Okay, but I could be so. <laughs> nice thing is, is, this isn't a neck pour. This has been opened probably about a month. You, this is a bottle you opened today. We have one right? more glass, by the way. Oh yeah, absolutely. We have a guest in the crowd that's a huge fan of this that I would love to pour him. <laughs> and we have the team captain here that I would love to pour a little bit for yes, as well. Yeah, the team captain would like. <laughs> the team captain would like one. Oh, she gets a brand new glass. Yeah. Straight on. Oh, Here, awesome. let's clean it right out of the box. We just that. keep certain Oh, uh, that's your glass, Shauna. <laughs> Anybody else? That's Shauna. Shauna. Shauna, you. Viewers, would you like a glass? Casey, would you like one? Yeah. No. Can we set this maybe in the middle? Or Did no? anybody say we were drinking yet? Is that all right? Mm -hmm. I follow my own rules, Brian. When did that start? <laughs> okay, Thomas Handy, cheers everyone. Cheers. Thank cheers. You. You're welcome. Not every day you have a BTAC. I'll tell you what, look at the legs on that thing. That is unbelievable. Mm. Wow. Mm. Picking up anything on the nose? Sweet. I'm getting sweet. Yeah, yeah I get sweet. Like yeah. The, the, Carol would like a pour. Carol would like a pour. Carol, it's terrible. You, you don't really Kevin Westfall would like a pour. Nice. Bob would take a pour. Bob would take a pour. <laughs> How about Bill? Does Bill want one too? Oh, Bill, that's I think Rebecca wants one. Rebecca wants one. Ain't that that is that does not so mix like, with water, Rebecca. I get sweet on this, it's and I didn't so really sweet. get the sweet, sweet on these that's other I rice. Get, I'm getting brown sugar on the nose. Is Utopia somewhere on this wheel or not? The words that come to my mind aren't even, we can't even Can you give me it. the definition of utopia? Garber wants one too. Bill. Bill wants Garber does, Bill. Bill, come on down. You're Bill, only, come on. You're only, what, three miles off the road? What's Webster have to say about utopia? Oh, that's so good. What are you getting, Shauna? Highly desirable or near perfect quality. <laughs> That ought to be on is the that wheel. Utopia? That's utopia. It is heavy on the brown sugar. Brown sugar. But then you're getting the spices. Yeah. With the oak. It's really good. Mr. Wilson, what are you picking up? <clears throat> Ethel, as always. Ethel? You're you picking up Ethel? You smell that with your mouth, please. <laughs> <laughs> Open that mouth. It doesn't matter. If it I does use. matter, <laughs> Terry. <laughs> on the palate, you're getting ethanol? No. Oh. 
Oh, on the smell. On the I'm not going to lie to you. I took too big of a drink. That is un- myself out. Is that unbelievable? That's really good. Is that your first time trying that? No, you've had it. Yeah, we had no, it. I had it. You've had it at the Scott household. I had it. Did at, we yeah. open it? I had it first. You opened yeah. it at the OU bar for us. Yeah. I don't. Is there another name for the bar? I mean, Bobcat really, Mania. OU bar. Yeah. Casey's Palace. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure. Mark had Sean and I over to look at redesigning the bar, and I gave him ideas and crickets. Crickets well, there. the boss over there thinks, and thanks to you over there, Miss Shauna, that, that should we should be shit out in the man cave basement. But we should upgrade a basement. I do. I, do. I feel like you should. Let's go, take a vote. You should move <laughs> south to the basement. Who wants it in the basement? Basement. Uh, that's everybody but you, Mark. Listen. <laughs> oh, unfortunately, <laughs> if you all want to chip in and donate, <laughs> no, it can happen, right? Well, let me. The only, but, the only vote that really matters. Let hey, me explain. Setting right Here's how there. much I have for the basement <laughs> right now. Empty. First off, that's total BS. Yes. Yes. That's total BS. Yes. Yes. This basement, if Sean and I went in there and laid out a design, there's not a nightclub in the state of Ohio that can compete with this space. Yeah, and there's not a Major League Baseball player that could afford it. (laughs) That's not me, right? I'm a slow-pitch softball kind of guy. (laughs) Hey, that That handy handy. handy. is... So, is that number one for everybody? Mm. Are you allowed to vote for the bonus? Let me see here. Because this would be number six enters the play. I really think... (laughs) The legs on that thing. Man, that's, that's my one. Three is going to be my two. Four is going to be my three. So now, man, number five just really. It's better than the I mean, I'm, The smell. The, was there a five? For me, the smell of number five is better than the handy. The rest of number five is laying somewhere on this concrete. Mm, beautiful. Uh, let's see. How, about this, how this. about this setup? Brian, you are. You and Shauna have a gift for. I appreciate design that. and Mark, uh, functionality. This is just Sean absolutely is horrible. really the designer. I'm just a labor. However, I will say, in all fairness, on this concrete, Terry without Mr. Terry, Wilson without Terry from Wilson Rotators. Mm-hmm. Um, now, did he have a whole float on here going down through, or was it a hand float? Jack? Actually, I did the you I did all the work in here. Terry mixed no, it all. Oh, labor. you were the mixer on labor. Terry you mixed it. Shauna mixed the uh, and you finished it and the color. Terry mixed the additive and was color. It, was it a hand? Yeah, it was a hand. What's float. the right word for that? I, a float, a, I call a it a float, float, right? And then a trowel after that. And a trowel after that. Hmm. Are my initials anywhere in here after that last? Episode? Yeah, they're on the bottom side, way <laughs> okay. back in here. Right by the gum. By the gum. Yeah, That's what I gum. was going to say. <laughs> by the gum. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. What's your guys' number one? My number one's the bonus. Uh, okay. Mine's no. number six. Okay. Hang on. So y'all know what that one is. Number yeah, six. This is—is yeah. is that your number one? Probably not for Mike. Oh, he'll screw it he'll up. Be different. It doesn't count. I am. They might got a number one through five. Which one do you pick? Not be my I am one. different. Number five is my favorite. Number five's your favorite. Wow. That's was your favorite, wasn't it? Or uh, five and three. I haven't okay. decided. Okay. I know. I got. I'm supposed to do that, yeah, but so I was three and four. So okay. I want to try three. Well, here I'll just put you in order then. Okay. You're going to be disappointed, Mark. That's all right. Hey. Okay. So number you're one. just going to tell me what glass number one was. Yeah. Number one, E. H. Taylor. Was it really? Oh, very. I mean, that's really. When I so, said about number one, was so these extremely are in, smooth. These are in the order we drank them. Okay, that yes. was, I can't that believe I'm using E.H. E. Taylor as a mixer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and pretty I, sad, Mike. Right? <laughs> you know what? That's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's pretty sad. sad. It's beautiful to know that you're using yeah. that. It, impossible to get, and you're mixing with it. But how smooth Good job, is that? That, oh. that is, I mean, that's as smooth I'm as it gets. I'm telling you, that number four is Jack. Okay, what's number two? Bullet. Well, yeah, that was terrible. Okay, yeah. That no, it was wasn't terrible. Not, that was a terrible. It was not terrible. That was like a mixer, terrible. you said. I did not think. Yeah. Two I was out way a mixer. Four was a little weird, too, but <laughs> four is weird. No, Listen, guys, you probably won't find this, but if you can, it's an awesome bottle. Straight ride. This, this is, is on every shelf. Eight years. I think, every no. shelf. 
it's, it's still, decent. Yeah, it's still a little harder to find. Is yeah, it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's a limited it's release. And it might be a limited release, so it might not be out if very long. It's limited release. Mm -hmm. I haven't read that. It's movie. not hard to find yeah. if you're a cast yeah. 529 yeah. follower. It's uh, right here. Um, number three. Respects. Oh. Jack Daniels. Yeah, no. baby! Oh. Out! Out! Now, so did that, I say that was twice, Pharaoh? That was my number John, one prior John, to the bonus. You had it. You knew it. Woo! Woo! Yeah, we were, hey, we were on hey, that. Hey, let me be like Mike was on Booker's. Woo! I'm kidding. Oh, I'm kidding. my gosh. I'm kidding. You got this is what we you have. Got to go we have this, right? <laughs> you got to be the I like that. Oh, we might have to gosh. open one. Where was that? Where was that in you? What? That was probably... Hey that, hey, that was a special release. Casey Joe, VP of Search, all over it. For she search. helped the Wilson Row line up with uh, acquiring that. How many bottles we, that you got, Terry? Six, seven, eight? No. We I think we ended up with seven. We gave one up, right? To you guys have Justin seven? Craddock? Is that who we, we have? We like gave four, it up to, right? No, we have seven. Oh, we gave them to Tater and Row. Where the hell are all this? <laughs> I won several. Oh. Listen, and you got that from a bottle. If you can find this. And I'm not a Jack Daniels fan. He, he that's said no. pretty good from us. Uh -huh. Sean, we need number yeah. four. I, I can't remember. Yep. Number four is the Willet. Yeah. That was Willet. massive. That, that was, was my that was Oh, my that's second. the weird one. The bad part is we have two bottles of that unopened. Maybe this, we should have donated that. This one's weird, that Terry. You didn't like that. Four years. I did not like four. Wow. You loved four. Well, you you that was my second place. Nine. You should have brought the nine year and opened. Well, well, is that the Willard uh, yeah, rock? Willard. Uh, the, yeah. Uh, yeah, nine year yeah. Ohio State. The black with the purple so, top. Yeah, yeah, I did not care top. for that. Why didn't you guys you bring really it like it, right? Green. Oh, it's a green top. It's the green yeah, top. Yeah, but it's a nine year. What's the wheat? The wheat. So, number five is the new riff, and I'm Which. so super excited. That oh, that new riff was excellent. I'm so excited that I picked is three that and five. The one that you I'm, I'm disappointed here. I'm disappointed. But one was just so smooth. New riff. That, I mean, what number? That's five. That was five. Yeah. And that was, your, that was your pick overall. Yeah. That and that's readily pick. available. Yeah, I know. Yes. New riff. Now, these new and riffs. And I was not a fan of uh, new riffs. Sean and I picked all our new riffs up at New Riff, I don't know, four or five weeks ago. Uh, but this is readily available. Like we March grabbed our new riff in Oklahoma I City, Oklahoma. Okay. And it's uh, got a sticker on it. You remember the name of the place? It's awesome. It's got a sticker. If it's got so a sticker on it. It's good. Wilson now, this, is, this is probably a silly question, but have you guys been to New Riff? Mm -hmm. We have. We went. Uh, Loved it. And I was driving, and it was a, like a day trip. We had to go down and back. So I didn't. I had a couple sips out of her samples. Yeah. <sighs> what an awesome place. You know what's great about New Riff is you can park in the parking lot go to party source go to new riff and then journey over to party source yes go to park and you now, want to go all the way back on the right and they'll have special releases from time to time we're actually a making a florida trip in may oh and florida. our way back walgreens in florida walgreens, <laughs> walgreens i'm telling yeah. you right now walgreens in florida yeah. is on our way back sean has actually booked us uh are we mixing we're making our own blend at new riff we're making a blend at new riff on our way back yeah. And we're staying right across the street. Are you driving down and driving yeah. back? Yeah. Yeah. Think of how many stops you can make mm -hmm. along the way. Well, we have Liquor stores nearby. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nearby. All right. Plan well, I'm your route. Go ahead and close the raffle and get that. Raffle is closed. Who's the winner? I can't wait. Did they all enter? How many entries do we have? Um, it looks like we have seven. Seven entries. Seven entries. What was our peak? Uh, we had nine. Ten. Nine, I think, was our peak, right? Um, we actually had a 11 at one point. Mm. Um, there we go. That was close enough to the 12 yeah. number that we had. Yeah, we were hoping for 12. Mm. 11 will work. It was right downtown. Oh, it might have been yeah. Byron's. I like that new roof. I can't tell you how awesome it's going to be for the winner to get this flask Yay, in his hat. Kevin Westfall. Yeah. Kevin Westfall. Kevin. Congratulations, Kevin. Hat, flask, and uh, I mean, those are the peaks of the win, I know. <laughs> but you'll also be getting the bottle from Mark and Casey. From Small Mark and Casey. From Colonel Taylor. From the <laughs> Colonel. Do we know what EH stands for? Somebody. Put it on. Ernest, there. I'm guessing Ernest. Ernest Hemingway. No. Negative. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
What? Can someone Wasn't put in the comments what EH stands for and Mr. Colonel Taylor? I don't know what that is. Now, what Colonel Taylor was known for is not the ability to budget money. So if you listen to the story... for his war efforts. No, he, he loved to spend money. So I happen to be related to somebody through marriage. Edmund Haynes. Edmund Haynes. Edmund oh. Haynes. Edmund Haynes Taylor. So the story, right? Edmund Haynes Taylor was the CEO at what's now the Sazerac Company Buffalo Trace. Okay. And he spent all the money. Like when there was money in the budget, he spent it. Got so much to make it, Mark. Well, no. In this case, that was his philosophy, but he wasn't making it. So much that they were right on the verge of bankruptcy, and George T. Stagg comes in, works them out of bankruptcy, and then ships Edwin Haynes? Edmund Haynes. Edmund Haynes, Haynes out, which is now the old Taylor factory, right, that you've been okay, to, yep. which is now owned by... Castle and Key. Castle and Key. Castle and Key. And if you've had the chance to visit beautiful the old Taylor oh, beautiful, beautiful distillery, it's absolutely gorgeous. And we're coming up on the time to go to this place in the springtime. Yeah. You got to go there, and you got to walk the grounds. Yeah. What they what their claim to fame is is the natural spring that runs right through that property. They use beautiful. that water to deep proof. Yeah. What comes out. Yeah. Uh, of the batch. Now I learned today. Um, I'm, have you toured Jack Daniels? We have. We have not. No. We so not. Terry, Terry, who Terry is like Jack Daniels. the Mr. Jack, Dan Jack Daniels. Well, right? he is. He is Jack. Mr. Jack Jr. Jr. Right. He's never been there. No, no, what? No, nowhere. Now, Jack Daniels is actually the only tour Sean and I have ever taken. The only tour. Because. Our philosophy is if you've done one tour, you've done them all. Negative, Nelly. <laughs> Negative, Nelly. But that's the only tour we've ever that's done. That's not true. We did um, Town Branch. Who? Um, Town Branch. Down in Lexington. Um, I think it's Town Branch or Town... Oh, it's oh, oh. At, uh, when we went to... Uh, no, Artec. Artec. Um, Our first time down if there. If you guys can visit Frankfurt... And do a tour of Buffalo Trace, which is we haven't toured that. It's beautiful. The yeah. hard hat tour we have not done. We've done the general tour, but the hard hat tour, and you want to go during the week when there's production going on, so you can get the full flavor. Right. Um, you know, out, outstanding type of tour, and then journey down to Old Taylor and visit Castle and Key. Yeah, and get the full ambiance of that facility, and then journey. I'm shaking your head. I, I'm. I'm, I'm thinking of my own thing here. <laughs> Stick with me, Mike, for five minutes. Like, enjoy the well, shake your head to your shoulder. Okay, can I tell Stay you why I'm right shaking right my head? Why are you shaking your head? Is Kevin still online? Because he, he did. He's great. He's grateful. He's awesome. Yeah. Kevin, congratulations. He, he is. So we will meet Kevin, um, or, or we can bring the... Actually, I well, hey, think Well, hey, why don't Kevin we have you guys maybe, over and we can have a sip or two. We, I mean, we could do that. There's actually. a couple things to try. I've seen that it. we could open. I've seen and it. And you're Kevin, Kevin can meet us there. That would be a good deal. Would that be all right? Bonus. Yeah, absolutely. Kevin, if you're interested in that. Yeah. Let's work that out, Kevin. Let's get that scheduled. <laughs> you're with him on Facebook, right? Yes, yeah. I am. Tell him to inbox you. Tell him to inbox you. I don't know if you can Go to DM, as well, they say on uh, DM. Kevin, Brian. inbox me on Facebook. Is it DM Some or PM? PM. Or we will arrange what Mark is proposing. And uh, trust me, it's it's worth the trip. And and maybe even bring a couple sticks if you're golfing. We are fortunate enough to because there is there's small does have simulator to be a so. uh, golf simulator at uh, Club Scott. We'll, we'll call it Club Scott. We'll call it Club Casey. She's, uh, <laughs> she's <laughs> as she's shaking she's her head. She's the designer of all this. <laughs> hey, Except how about we have another sip baseball. of uh, Thomas H? I drank all mine. You've got a lot of stuff going on there. I know. So anyways, what I was shaking my head about is the two that I have liked the least of the regular bourbons... The new riff. 
You liked it the best. Mm -hmm. I, here in the rye, but in the bourbons. Oh, in the bourbons. Just, that was, Terry and I neither one liked it. And I am absolutely not a Jack Daniels fan. And it was. You like three? Yeah. yeah. Today. I think that's where my two. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's your point. So, so three and four. Four was terrible. Four was. <laughs> Four, four, was, was you. four was Brian. Four was you. He's the weird one. Right? Mike and I were out on four <laughs> as soon as we sipped it. It has a weird taste right it's And I want Shauna to try it. And that's $75 Can bottle. Can you see the bottle she has trying it, Mike? We like it. Shauna, what's the taste like? I, it's been a long time since I've She'll have to retry it. Okay, so they're going to convince Shauna now she does not like it. <laughs> anyway, guys. It's weird. I think at this point you've watched enough of this mess. <laughs> um, thank you to Mark and Casey for donating Good the picture. bottle of B.H. Taylor. You're welcome. Congratulations to Kevin for being the winner. boy, Kevin. Sorry. Kevin, like I said, inbox me. We'll get everything set up. Um, I think that's all we got for tonight. Guys, thank you for joining us. Pleasure. This Thanks for having us. Awesome. Thank you for having I'll us. Have you guys are welcome back anytime you want to come back. We'll be back in the morning. Perfect. Maybe we'll still be here. We may still be uh, here in the morning. Quarter after nine. It's possible we'll still be here by morning. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for joining us. I appreciate every one of you. Hit the like and subscribe buttons if you would, please. We'd really appreciate that. And we will be back before next week, but hopefully another live again next week. Good luck and good hunting. Be safe, everybody.